listening to all of the advice from the department and, and the HSE um, and, and public health at a time when we absolutely need to maintain social distancing we're at an advantage that our sport is out here in a big open field and that's the reason why we are able to continue. We have a lot of staff around making sure that people are adhering to the stringent measures that HRI have put in place um, and I suppose we just want to keep people safe and it is great to race but we don't want the safety of everybody here to be put at risk. Yeah things are different now and when I arrive at the races first thing I have to do is go and check in with our chief medical officer Dr um, Jennifer Pugh and uh, then go into the weigh room get changed into your gear and out of the weigh room straight away if you're not riding in the first race you come out uh, I wasn't riding to the second race today so I went in change into my gear straight out of the weigh room sit in my car and then when the first race was over I go back into the weigh room and um, get ready for the second race uh, the jockeys that rode in the first then come in weigh in and go straight back out so uh, Everyone is very conscious of the situation that not alone the countries in the world is in and everyone's very aware how serious the situation is so they're doing their best to social distance and keep washing them hands in their mouths or something. The main differences really are um, with the guidelines set out by HRI and, and the Turf Club is, is to, to one groom per horse. On this instance today I have two runners and we've actually one groom for the two horses because there's a good space in between. The first thing we saw when we arrived at the stable yard was the hand sanitizers. We were straight over to them, people were doing it and everyone's keeping their distance. There's loads of space down the stable yard, everyone's out in the open air and keeping their distance. They're the main reason, they're the main things that everyone's trying to keep space. Same when it gets to the race time, in the parade ring, I can't now not go into the weigh room to collect my saddle, it's brought out to me, the jockey brings it out, we're, we're, we don't don't speak until we meet in the parade ring and again all jockeys and, and a couple of trainers that are here there's actually very few here um, it's all about keeping their distance even as we chat in the parade ring. The main reason that we're able to continue racing is that our ambulance service here is provided for the uh, for us by the Order of Malta. They cover the majority of the tracks in Ireland, and they're a voluntary organisation, an organisation which I continue to always be in awe at their commitment. They're all volunteers, so the Order of Malta are on standby for the National Ambulance Service and the Emergency Planning Department, but they have not yet been called into action. So the Order of Malta across the country have about 100 ambulances on standby, but at the moment their ambulances are sitting parked up because they haven't been called into action yet, and it's not anticipated that we're going to see the numbers where the Order of Malta will be deployed for another maybe 10 days or two weeks, or, um, depending on how things go nationally. Um, so it's a voluntary organisation. We are not taking anything away from any um, hospital resource or any, any public need at the moment. Everyone has been on the same page. At a, if at any point either our ambulance service or our doctors, um, where their priority must be to the public health um, service, and, and that will not be called into question when that time comes. Joe's is employing you know, over, over 100 people. Um, but you know, even a week ago, um, all the rules were given to us um, on a WhatsApp group. You know, all the lads are wearing gloves in the yard. Um, you know, there's nobody's allowed into the canteens. Everybody's, Joseph bought everybody a flask, so they're having tea in their, in their car. Um, and as I said, you, can't, you just cannot do any more. It's like us now, we're two metres apart. And um, you know, and as long as you keep doing that, there should be no problem, and I, and I hope there is none. We are prepared to do whatever we can to, to keep the show on the road, you know, and we know what a difficult situation this is, but um, we're going to try and do everything we can in our powers to make sure that it's safe to, to race.